Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing my go-to clubbing makeup look. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I always do my brows super dramatic when I'm going clubbing just because, you know, it's dark. No one can tell how much makeup you have on. You can really, oh, well, I mean they can, but like you can get away with wearing extra makeup. So what I like to do is extend my brow, pretty much draw a straight line underneath it. So it's super like harsh and really neat. And then I make an arch as well because, you know, the slugs need a little bit of an arch. Then to conceal my brows, I like to take my Tarte Shape Tape. This one is my go-to for this step. It's just so easy to clean up the brows and then also to cover any veins because it is very, very high coverage. So once I've done that, I like to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to make sure all the eyeshadows blend over the top of that concealer nicely. So we're gonna make sure we set that down, Del. Yeah, do, 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 whoop. Yes, it is time for the eyeshadow. I'm taking the Kylie Jenner Burgundy palette. I've only used this a few times and I do really like it. I just never lean for it. So I'm like, yes, let's do this, something different. I mean, same colors, like everyone loves warm shades. Let's be real. I'm starting with this orange shade in my crease and really blowing it up, up to my eyebrow. This color is so pretty and the formula is incredible. Incredible. Then we're going to go in with this maroon shade and this one's going directly in the crease I'm going to blow it up a little bit, but not as much as that last shade So I'll just take a smaller blending brush so we can focus it right in that socket girl And the next color I'm taking is this beautiful chocolate brown color So I'm going to take an even smaller blending brush and just placing that in my crease once again But really deepening up that crease to make it super luscious and smoky and then of course I go back in with my big blending brush because you always should blend after every step Key. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once again so I can never stay away from it I'm just gonna take a small flat shader brush and carve out a cut crease so be very patient You'll get there eventually. I mean I still suck at it, but like whatever Okay, so going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder I'll just set that down so the other colors on top are kind of like an even color and not like patchy or anything So I'll go in with that orange shade and just pack that all over the lid where we have that blank space still And again, I'm going back in with a chocolate brown color and I'm using this to blend the orange and the darker shade together. So we have a really nice gradient. So what I like to do is just take a fluffy blending brush and kind of just like rub over the two until it is nice and seamless. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Glitter Liner. This stuff is seriously never gonna get old. I love doing this so much. It just adds like a little pop of something to the eyes without being like too dramatic. I, I mean, no, I mean, like that's dramatic, but like it's amazing. Like who wouldn't want that? So just drawing a line in my cut crease where I left a little gap. To prime my face, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Face Primer. This one has a really nice consistency. It feels really moisturizing, just refreshing on the skin. I actually really like this one. Oh my god, now it's time for the fun part. I'm going in with the Iconic London Illuminator. As you can see right here, it is so intense and creamy. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with it. So what I'm going to do is just pop this under my foundation and also on top of my foundation to get the best effect because I want a really glowy skin today. And when you go clubbing, you want that light to shine directly off your cheekbones. It is the best look. Yes, so I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender and then I'm going in with my Clinique foundation This foundation is so good. It's actually a joke like it really is that good It is quite thick So I would recommend using a kabuki brush to blend it in but of course I decided to do it the hard way It has amazing coverage and it has a really good color range as well So I'm quite happy with that I have the shade 8 and 11 depending on like if I want more of a yellow tone I go for the 8 and then 11 it's more of like a neutral tone when I have a darker tan on. And then for my dark circles under my eyes, I'm taking this Bobbi Brown corrector and I'm just gonna make sure no purple tones are peeking through. And because this one's more of a peachy tone, it just cancels out any dark tones at all. It is really good. And then over the top, I'm taking my Smashbox concealer to really brighten everything up and make sure I look snatch, girl. Oh my God, no one says that anymore. Isn't it so funny how like YouTube like slang words just fall off the face of the earth and like new ones come in like, Wait, what's a good one? That's like so lit. <laughs> Bye. To set that concealer, I'm taking my Rimmel Match Perfection Powder and I'm just gonna bake underneath my eyes, but we're not going anywhere near that highlighted area with any powders. So going back in with the highlight, I'm gonna make it even more intense. You can definitely build it up to like literally the most blinding highlighter of your life. So I'm just using this one on its own. And as you can see, 
Oh my god, it is so amazing. I really can't talk normal for like one second, it kills me. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Hello Flawless powder by Benefit and just tapping that everywhere except for my cheekbones. I can never do my brows without setting them. I love to just push them up so they look super full and dramatic and fluffy. This makes my whole entire life. I would definitely recommend trying this, guys. It's a life changer. Thank you. Going back in with that orange shade, I'm using this on my lower lash line. So from outer corner to inner corner to really proportion out the eyeshadow look. And I wanted to keep the lower lash line nice and light so it doesn't look like I've been punched in the face because my eyes are so dark. And anytime I put dark eyeshadow on, it just doesn't suit me. So on that note, I'm going in with a white eyeliner in my waterline to brighten everything up. Next step is to coat my lashes so we can prep them for the falsies. It doesn't really matter what mascara you have on your top lashes as long as they're super black so they blend in with your falsies. But this one is great for the lower lashes to make them super long and dramatic. So for the falsies, I'm taking these ones from Lily Lashes and these are in the style Goddess and Holy... Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Best lashes in the actual world. They're so fluffy and long, I die every time. Next step is to bronze up the face. So this one is a bronzer from Guerlain. I will leave all the shades in the description box below. This one is a really pretty warm tone. I love warm tones on the cheeks. It just looks so sun-kissed and radiant. So of course I'm putting this under my cheekbones and also around my forehead. And then it's time for the blush. I'm taking this one from Makeup Geek in the shade Infatuation. This one is the perfect neutral tone blush that will go with literally any any makeup look. Now it's time for the lips. I'm taking this Jordana lip pencil in the shade Honey Dip. This is one of my favorite affordable lip pencils in the world. It's just so creamy and the quality is amazing and it's like $3 or something crazy like that. So I'm going to take my Jouer lip gloss over the top and oh my god this is like one of my favorite lip glosses in the whole world now. I'm so happy I have found this but when I go clubbing I always like to do a nude lip just because you know I'm drinking, I'm dancing, I don't want to like reapply all the time so a nude is just like the easiest thing to maintain and like this color is like to die for. Are you actually joking me right now? So you want to make sure you set your face if you want your makeup to stay on all night long. I mean like I stay out all night long so I definitely need some of this up in my grill girl. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you very soon. 